Well, guys, it was ultimately the basement that saved this family's life. They tell me they actually tucked away in a corner in the basement. The father of the family telling us it all happened so fast. But guys, I want to show you the Oklahoma standard has been in full swing all day. The people you see here in our live drone footage have been out here since nine this morning helping out this family. I think we got the notifications around like 530. We woke the kids up, got them downstairs. I got downstairs and a McLean County family crediting the KOCO team's overnight alerts and coverage for getting them to safety. Within an hour of that tornado, Sky 5 over the scene to see the damage left behind. No, I don't know the estimated cost of it, but it was totally gone. I mean, it's down. Uh, so, um, total loss. Uh, I don't really remember a lot of sound. I know okay. it was down in our basement. My ears pressurized up they and did. stuff, and we got to the other side of the basement where there's a little cubby hole and we all got huddled up in that. Clothes, personal belongings and pieces of their life now just rubbled, but at least one family treasure survived the storm. My mother in law had that made for one made for all her daughters and it was clothes from their grandparents wow. made out of it from her grandpa and her grandma. The town of Wayne was without power for hours after the EF2. One of the schools had damage to an air conditioning unit and windows prompting a school closure. <laughs> A sod farm that's been in Wayne since 1947 had roof damage and heavy equipment knocked over. A few other houses also had minor damage. And we didn't have uh, any fatalities. Uh, nobody's been hurt. We've been blessed. And they also told us their family pets also survived the tornado.